Good morning, Miracle Swingers. Wasn't that British Open fun? I had a heck of a great time watching Cameron Smith come down the stretch and hoist that trophy. What an amazing golfer he is. Silky putting stroke. And we're going to take a look at his golf swing, which uh, some of the jokesters out there are like, well, I guess everybody has an over-the-top golf swing. No, no, I have to search for them. Cameron Smith drops it under. And also, Cameron Young, that eagle on number 18 was something else. I was really blown away. You know, he hung in there, kept grinding, and almost stole the claret jug. But the putt on 17 was the one that I thought won the tournament for Cameron Smith. He could have gotten real risky with the slingshot move around the road hole bunker. But man, he played it conservatively, left it out about 10, 12 feet, made that putt. And man, that set him up for another birdie on 18. But I want to take my hat off to Rory McIlroy. Nice job, man. And I'll tell you, I'm rooting a lot more for Rory since I watched him on the Golf Channel the other day saying that I have a tendency to drop it under too much. And I was like, wow, okay, that's great. At least you recognize the flaw that I recognized in the video that I made about him fairly recently. So my boy Victor Hovland couldn't hold on. That's who I was rooting for with his genuine big time OTT golf swing. But he just couldn't get the putts to drop. You know, that's just how it goes. Now I find it interesting, guys, just to mention it. Out of the top 11 players, there were three live guys. Abraham Answer, Bryson DeChambeau, and Dustin Johnson. And from what I saw, DeChambeau and Answer, they didn't get any coverage, you know, which is which is just interesting to me. Are they shutting them out? Dustin Johnson, beloved, he got a lot of coverage. He couldn't seem to get it going. Um, you know, Tommy Fleetwood, he did a great job coming in tied for fourth as well. So, guys, the over-the-top swing is wonderful. I had fun. I played on Friday and shot 35. That was pretty cool. And, man, that round could have been a lot lower. I've been on vacation, then I got sick, so I'm a little bit rusty. And it's nice to be able to come back, not hit any warm-up balls, and shoot 35. That's what the over-the-top golf swing gives to me is confidence I'm going to be able to hit the golf ball. I'm going to be able to produce leverage and shoot that golf ball. I'm aiming and shooting. That's that's the beautiful part of it. You know, golf is hard. Not all shots go straight. But one thing that's so great is to not have all the mental, you know, a million swing thoughts like I used to going on in my head. I'm just concentrating on where I want the ball to go. Hence, I'm playing a lot better golf. And I'm having more fun playing golf. That's why I want you to pick up the over-the-top miracle swing. Even better is a subscription to MSC TV. This is all my premium content. It's premium content that goes back to my very first Hogan Code video that I put out after I shot under par the first couple of times. Get my documentary, Mr. Hogan, which is pretty dynamite. And I gave a lesson to an advanced player the other day who'd seen all of it. And our conversations were about the over-the-top miracle swing, but it also had a lot to do with my weight shift, how I hold the golf club, and you know how I basically arrived where I am today with a golf swing that I can trust. So the next MSC Intensive is September 3rd and 4th here in Pasadena, California. I'd love for you to come on out for a whole weekend, and I'll teach you the over-the-top miracle swing in person. Many of my students have said that even though they've learned the over-the-top miracle swing, the hands-on approach to being able to set them in the right place and help them to feel exactly what's supposed to happen with this new style of old-style golf swing. It helps them a lot. And also, my girlfriend America and I are talking about doing miracle weekends for small groups of people that would like us to travel to them for the guys to learn the miracle swing and their wives to learn yoga. So guys, let's dig into this new golf swing with Cameron Smith. It is interesting, and I think that you'll get a kick out of it. All right, guys, let's take a look at British Open winner Cameron Smith's awesome golf swing.
very nice. He has that funky across the line move at the top of his backswing, which I find very interesting. So let's go back and watch that again real quick. As he takes the club up, right here, everything looks really conventional. And then he actually begins, it's like his little drop it under move actually puts the club head across the line. Because we're going to see that he actually does drop it under. Now, what I like to see very much is look at how clear he is with his body. Absolutely textbook. So he's able to hit this position without going OTT. For me, I think it's easier to get into a better delivery position OTT, but his body allows him to do this. Now what we're going to see that is also very important to me is look at the hands exit left with the L shape between his arms and the club shaft. That, that is Hogan-esque. That shows that he's covering the ball. Low left exit of the club around the body. So he gets it done in the drop it under style. So I can't take anything away from him. He's one of the best golfers in the world right now. So if we do a handle trace, look at what we're going to see. It is definitely a drop it under pattern. It almost has like, it almost has a loop-de-loop -loop kind of pattern. Here we see the club at P2 tracing the handle as it goes up. It's going out and under. That is a pattern that I tried to do for years and years and I was unsuccessful at it. It just didn't work for me. And then I had this eureka moment where I finally went OTT and everything worked out great for me. But like I said, he covers the ball nicely, gets great compression, and once again, look at this shaft, the club head, exiting underneath the shoulder like the greats, like Sam Snead. So he gets it done in this pattern. That is fine. Now if we watch this driver swing, beautiful rhythm and tempo. Slow it down just a tad. That's where we really see the funky across the line move. So just to show you this again, he looks totally conventional at this point. But look at the super, super shut club face at the top. That's more than me at my my biggest drop and under phase. That's that's a super closed club face. But he's gonna pull it under. And yet, he's still going to get that right elbow in front of his body. That's one of my keys. And he still delivers that club head straight. This is, this is interesting. We can see how that club head, he probably caught it off the heel just a tad. But look how open his body is, hitting that ball from underneath. And uh, that's what I love, that inside-out look to a driver swing. That's what I want in my swing. But if we add our miracle dots, let's take a look at this pattern. Now notice right there at the beginning, he is basically keeping that club head down the train tracks, pushing the hands away. Ugh. God, that did not work for me. I, I don't like that personally. But he's pushing it away and keeping the hands in front of the chest. So he's found a way to make it work for him, for himself. So we trace this handle as it goes up. Look at where we're going. We're going over. And then he drops it under. He's way under the, the hands on the back swing. But right here is where he saves it. Right here, he looks steep, but he tilts back, gets that elbow under, and is able to deliver that 
driver square to the back of the ball. And that's all that matters at the end of the day. Once again, low left exit, club head exiting underneath the left shoulder. So thanks for all the fun. I'm telling you, I think Cameron is a lot of fun to, to watch playing golf. I love his joie de vivre. He's an awesome Aussie with a lot of humor, great short game, and one of the best putters maybe of all time. And I look forward to seeing much more great golf from you. And I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. Do you think uh, you picked up some yardage since we've been working uh, on this stuff? On the driver, at least 50 to 60 yards. It's dynamite. It's crazy. I want you to swing over the top. You heard me. Now hear me out. My swing is feeling effortless with power. Don't try to rebuild your swing if you're over the top. Learn to use it to your advantage. What do you notice about it? It's just easy. It's just easy. I don't have a whole bunch of thoughts, just one. Just come inside, hit down. Dropping it under causes pushes and hooks, and it almost ruined my back. When I started my swing evolution, I was a terrible golfer. Today, my channel has over 25 million views and I even got to swing as Ben Hogan on the Golf Channel. Click the link below to experience your very own miracle. Transform your game at myswingevolution.com.